stop learning because life never stops teaching. Good day, students! How are you today? I know you are eager to learn our new lesson for today. I am Miss Queenie May A. Azucena, your teacher in Physical Education 10. I am expecting that you are very excited to learn as much as I do. Today, we are going to discuss cheer dancing. You might be thinking that cheer dance are for those who are young and robust people. No, you're wrong because dance is for all, just like education. It can be learned as long as the mind is open to learn new things. Our lesson for today is based on the most essential learning competency of the Department of Education, which engages in moderate to vigorous physical activities for at least 60 minutes day in and out of school. Before we begin, learn that at the end of the lesson, you will be able to Number 1. Identify the basic movements of cheer dance Number 2. Appreciate the value of dancing in the improvement and maintenance of their health and fitness And number 3. Create a 64 counts movement using the arm and hand motion and pose position with cheer dance routine through improvisation. Sit back, relax, and let's begin. For you, what is dance? That's right! Dance is a performing art. It is described in many ways. It is when people move to musical rhythm. They may be alone or in a group. And also, the other forms of dance are hip-hop, street dance, cheer dance, and contemporary dance. But today, we will discuss more about cheer dancing. And now, I have a question for you. Have you experienced doing cheer dancing? How can a student like you benefit from performing cheer dance? Yes, that's right, because cheer dance is coined from the words cheer and dance. To cheer is to shout out words or phrase, and dance, on the other hand, is a physical activity where one expresses emotions or gestures while performing bodily movements. Cheer dance is rooted from cheerleading, and cheerleading is the performance of a routine usually dominated by gymnastic skills such as jumps, tumbling skills, lifts and toses combined with shouting of cheers and yells to lead the crowd to cheer for a certain team during a game or sport. In cheer dancing, we have the following terminologies. Number one, flyers. These are the cheerleaders who are held and thrown into the air and are doing the stunts. Number two, bases or mounts. These are the persons in charge of holding and controlling the throw of flyers. And number three, spots. Front spot and box spot members are those who stand behind or in front of the flyers and support the flyers to prevent them from falling. And now, I will show you the different arm and hand motion and pose position. But let's start with the arm and hand motion. Candlesticks Bucket Clap Clasp Low V High V Right Diagonal Left Diagonal T Motion Broken T Duggers 
right L motion left L motion pose position liberty hitch stand Heel stretch and arabesque. Are you familiar with Andy Dio Sarimanok Pep Squad? That's right! They are the famous dancers in cheer dancing here in our city. And now, I will show you a video of cheer dance performance and on your notebook, write at least three arm and hand motion and pose position that you observe in the video. Isn't it? Indeed, 
and did he use a Rimanok pep squad are amazing. Aside from those things, we should not forget the benefits of dancing in the improvement and maintenance of our health and fitness. It is also a great way to meet friends and enjoy social interactions like cheer dancing. Every physical activity like this has its benefits. You should choose the best activity that is best for you. For your performance, create a 64 count routine. Limit the performance by using only the arm and hand motion and pose position. You can use any music accompaniment which can be downloadable over the internet. The content of your cheer will circulate around the idea be cautious, COVID awareness. Record a video of yourself for your final performance, which will be submitted through email, Facebook, and the like to what is available and accessible to you. And here is the rubrics. For mastery and creativity, outstanding 10 points. Displays high level of mastery and creativity as seen in routine construction. Satisfactory, 8 to 9 points. Displays mastery and creativity as seen in routine construction. Needs improvement, 6 to 7 points. Displays low level of mastery and creativity as seen in routine construction. For the energy, Outstanding, 10 points. Shows impressive level of proficiency in the execution of steps, arm motions, and dance combinations. Excellent execution. Satisfactory, 8 to 9 points. Show acceptable level of proficiency in the execution of steps, arm motions, and dance combinations. Acceptable execution. Needs improvement. 6 to 7 points Shows a level of proficiency in the execution of steps, arm motions, and dance combinations Shows no interest And for the cheer content Outstanding, 10 points The side cheer is highly relevant to the given idea stipulated Satisfactory, 8 to 9 points the side cheer is quite relevant to the given idea stipulated. Needs improvement, 6 to 7 points. The side cheer is not relevant to the given idea stipulated. Again, cheer dance is coined from the words cheer and dance, and it is the performance of a routine usually dominated by gymnastic skills such as jumps, tumbling skills, lifts and tosses combined with shouting of cheers and yells. That would be all for today. I hope you have learned a lot and see you on our next lesson. Once again, this is Miss Queenie May A. Azasana, your teacher in Physical Education 10. Always remember, stay at home, preserve life.